Welcome YouTube. I'm going to be teaching today um, with my group here and I'm going to be talking from this uh, topic. There is lifting. There is lifting. <clears throat> the Bible says in Job 22, uh, 29, when men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up. Amen. There is lifting up. God. Amen. And what I want to say to you today that is that our fate is not like the fate of other men. Yes, sir. That's deep. <clears throat> when when other men are cast down, how about if I put it like that? Yes, sir. Amen. When other men are cast down, then you shall say, I am there is lifting up. When other men are cast down, then you shall say, there is lifting up. See the contrast there. When other men are cast down, then your confession is that there is lifting up. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. No, that's very important. Yes, sir. And... Uh, when, when they're experiencing terrible times, we can actually be experiencing the blessing of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In other words, we have to know that our case yes, sir. is different. Amen. Now, my objective is to give us a different perspective of our case. Our case is different. This will alleviate stress and give us hope. So how can I be sure that my case is different? Well, I won't be long, but I want to share with you a few examples that will help you to be sure that your case is different. Amen. Genesis 26, 12 says, Then Isaac sold in that land, O oh God, and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. To understand the full import of that verse of scripture, you have to understand, oh God, they were in a land which was in a time of famine. That means there was nothing. There was no rain, there was no, no crops, there was no cattle. And yet, Isaac sold in that land. Amen. Yes, sir, amen. I think, it's, I think it's interesting to note, and I think it's worthy of bringing out, that Isaac sold. Never stop sowing. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It wasn't a time to sow. Yes, sir. It wasn't a time to sow. It was a time of struggle. It was a time of lack. Amen. Yet, for some reason, Isaac sowed. 
and received the same year. He didn't, he didn't have to wait on Yes, sir. A hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Yes, you know, that's giving God the credit. Yes, sir. Amen. And you ain't just giving him the credit. He's the reason. Yes, sir. Praise God. I see that. Amen. He's the reason for the blessing. Yes, sir. Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. Can I read the next verse? Yes. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew. Listen, when you waxing great, going forward and growing, yes, you're, good. you're winning. Amen. You're winning in life. Yes, sir. And watch this. He grew until he became very great. All of this is in a time of famine. Yes, sir. Amen. Watch this. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great store of servants. Watch this. And the Philistines envied him. Now, I'll tell you something. In fact, they told him, Go from us, for, for, for you are much greater than us. You are much greater than us. Amen. Yes, amen. The first thing I want to say is that we have the ability to walk in continual increase. Now, you have to believe this before it's going to be so. Yes, sir. It's so even if you don't believe it. Amen. Amen. But if it's going to be so for you, you have to believe it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We have the ability to walk in continual increase. Amen. The next thing I want to say is, no matter what is going on around you, your case is different. Yes, sir. Praise God. Your case is different. But here's the thing. You have to sow. Yes. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He that observes the wind, y'all don't like me. Yes, sir. He that observes the wind will not sow. Yes, sir. Don't let nothing stop you from sowing. If, listen, if you're not sowing, you're observing the wind. Yes, sir. Amen. And he that observes the wind will not sow. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing I want to say is a little hard, but I have to say it anyway. And all this, you know, when all this waxing great and going forward and growing until you become very great, when that happens, this also happens. Your haters rise up. Yes, sir. It says that the Philistines envied him and said, get out of here. We don't want you around us. You see, I won't take long on this, but when when things are going well for you, yes, sir. Listen, you can count on haters. Amen. Yes, sir. You say, why do they hate? I don't know. They hate because they, it ain't them. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. Um, they hate because they can't find a way. They hate because. They don't see it happening for them. Yes, sir. Amen. You mean, why do they hate? They Somebody uh, wrote a song, haters gonna hate. That's what they do. Yes. 
So expect haters. The Philistines envy them. Yes, sir. But they told us why they were hating. They said, go from us, watch this, for, which means what? Because. You are much mightier than we. That's why people hate on you. Because you're greater than them. Yes. You're mightier than them. Praise God. Amen. Because you, you, have, you have more going on than them. So, you know, you need to toughen your skin and get ready for haters. Amen. Yes, sir. I see that. That's a very important point, isn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. Jesus said, there is no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, or mother, or wife, or children. Or lands for my sake in the gospels, but he shall receive a hundredfold. How, how many did Isaac receive? A hundredfold. People say there ain't no hundredfold. There is a hundredfold. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna get mine. I don't know about Amen. you. Hallelujah. I said there is a hundredfold, and yes, it's sir. promised to you. And we have right here an example of someone sowing and reaping a hundredfold the same. Amen. Yes, sir. The same year. I'm just going to say it. In 2024, we're going to reap the hundredfold. Amen. Thank Jesus you, Lord. Name. Jesus In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. But guess what? Y'all y'all were smiling. It's with persecution. Mm -hmm. It's with what? Persecution. See, your haters gotta persecute you. Now, here's what you need to do. You need to make sure that your haters and their persecution doesn't cause you to despise your blessing. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, I, I'm going to spend a little time on this. Um, when you get blessed, oh, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. When you get blessed, the reaction of your, oh, God, the reaction of the people close to you, oh, y'all acting like you're right. Amen. Yes, you're acting like you're right. The reaction of the people closest to you, you got to watch that. Yes, sir. Because, see, they're really hating on you, and because they're not sharing in your joy, it'll cause you to despise your blessing. Yes, sir. I see that. Amen. Amen. Why? Because you say, oh, you're not going to rejoice with me? Okay, well, I guess I better not rejoice either. Yes, I see mm -hmm. that. Now, watch out for that. Amen. And then, uh, let me say, this is, wh why am I doing all this? I'm doing this because you need to expect favorable conditions. Yes, sir. Praise God. For yourselves. See, a lot of faith is expectation. Yes, sir. Amen. And I'm trying to cure you from negative expectation. Yes, sir. Amen. Expect favorable conditions because of the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank and the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. But it doesn't add no sorrow with it. Amen. Now, another example that I want to bring out is in Genesis. Um, well, Genesis 47, 27 says, uh, Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt. Okay. But watch this. 
in the country of Goshen. And they had, watch this. See, a lot of people think when, when it was time to leave Egypt and the Israelites were told to go to the Egyptians and borrow. It, it really wasn't borrow. It really wasn't borrow. Um, that word really meant go and receive your portion for all of these 430 years of slavery. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That's what the word really meant. Yes, sir. But here's the thing. Israel had already known prosperity. It says here, they had possessions. They grew. They multiplied exceedingly. Yes. Amen. So they had known prosperity. But with the prosperity came persecution. And this new leader persecuted them. So, um, persecution, unfortunately, follows prosperity. Yes. Now, if you don't believe that, just prosper and see what happens. You go to your old friends. Hey, y'all, I want to you know, I want to buy lunch. I want us to go somewhere. I want us to do something. Else. No, that's all right, man. <laughs> Shoot, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir. That's why a lot of times when you prosper, you have to find new friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because your old friends, they're just not with it. Yes, sir. And you prosper. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I hate to just bring this up. My brother died many years ago. But I remember I called him on the phone. I was excited. I said, Ronald, um, I, I got a new house. I, I'd love for you to see it. Guess what he said? That's your house. You enjoy it. <laughs> That's your house. You enjoy it. Yes, now see, when, when we was when we was struggling and all that, he used to talk about, you know, having a nice place, uh, a nice apartment. Mm -hmm. And I got one. I got a nice townhouse. I said, brother, you know, come see my townhouse. He came. He said, yeah, it's all right, but I want me a house. Okay, I got the house. I said, brother, come see the house. Yeah, it's your house. <laughs> you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And it's good, good advice. If God bless you with a house, guess what? Yes, you enjoy it. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, I see your prosperity overflowing. Yeah, that's what I just saw. I see it overflowing. Amen. Now, let's get back to the lesson. Uh, you know who makes our case different? God makes our case different. Now, we do it in what we do, but it's God that makes our case different. Now, I want to read Exodus 8.22. It says, and I will sever. This is very interesting to me. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen. Now, Goshen was where Joseph's people lived because they, they were shepherds, and shepherds were an abomination to Egyptians. So they lived in the land of Goshen. But Goshen was blessed, and it was blessed more because they were there. Yes, sir. And God was with them. Amen. 
So this is from the mouth of the Lord. He says, I will sever in that day the land of Goshen in which my people dwell, that no swarm of flies shall be there. To the end that you may know that I am the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. So God could, this is the only way I know to illustrate it. God sent a huge swarm of flies, just, just thick flies, into Egypt. The flies flew in. And when they saw Goshen, they turned and went on into Egypt. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Not one fly went into Goshen. Hallelujah. Yes, Glory to God. Amen. That is, that is, that's hard for me to imagine. Well, it's in this verse. He said, I will sever. That means I will cut it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. I, I will say, you all go here and not here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. None of you. Not one of you. Amen. Not one of you will accidentally go mm -hmm. yes, sir. into the ghost. Amen. Praise God. Then he says, he goes further. I just, I want to stamp this in your mind. He goes further to say, but I will not treat the Israelites the same as the Egyptians. Yes. There will not be any flies in Goshen. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now that's, that's God saying, <laughs> your case is different. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. I'll, listen, he said, I will treat the land of Goshen where my people live, watch this, I will treat the land of Goshen where my people live differently. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So that swarms of insects won't be there. Amen. Yes, Praise sir. God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Now, let me read one more version. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. Yes. See, I know this is controversial, but this difference that God makes is far reaching. So you can't even listen to information about the stock market. You can't. It's okay to say, God, bless my investments. Yes, yes, amen. Wait a minute. It's, see, you don't want to be of the mindset where you think, well, you know, how it goes is how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's not so. Amen. God wants to make a difference. Amen. Do y'all hear me? Yes, yeah. I know that's making you more favorable towards favor. Yes, sir. I know that if if you if you if you're synchronized with me the way you should be, then you know that. This, this is going to posture you differently. So you start looking. Yes, sir. And see, what I want to do is give you reasons to look for this favor. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It, the Bible says that only in the land of Goshen was there no hail. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, just imagine that. Imagine... A, a, a tremendous hailstorm with golf balls coming out the sky, hitting you in the head, and right 
right across this line? None. Just the line where, you know, they have borders. Yes, sir. None. Amen. So the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to bring another plague on Pharaoh. I'm going to bring one more, one more. And afterwards, he's going to let you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And a matter of fact, he going to thrust you out all together. Yeah. Yes, sir. So here's what I want you to do. Let every man borrow. Let every man get the just due of all the hardship and labor. Jewels of silver and jewels of gold. Don't worry about that little stuff. Just give us the silver and the gold. Amen. Yes, amen. God's efficient. He don't want you carrying a bunch of junk. Get the silver and the gold. Amen. amen. Praise God. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, in the sight of the Egyptians means that the Egyptians looked upon the people favorably. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. I don't, I don't know why, but I, I want you to have this. Amen. Yes. I don't, I don't know why I'm giving you this, but I want you to take it and go, take it and go. Yes. Sir. Take it, Amen. take it, take it and go. Take it and go. Now, this is another interesting thing. Moses, at this time, was great, well, it says very great, in the land of Egypt. Now, you have to understand, this is that same Moses who was on the run from Pharaoh, for, you know, because he had committed murder, who ran to the backside of the desert. Now he's famous. Now he's Amen. very great. Yes, sir. He's greater than Pharaoh. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm talking about in the eyes of the Egyptians. Yes, sir. They're, they're like, this man has power. Yes, sir. He can do stuff. Amen. Yes, sir. Pharaoh can't do nothing Amen. compared to what this man can do. Yes, sir. This Moses said that was nobody. Amen. All of a sudden, he's great. In the sight of Pharaoh's servants, it says, and in the sight of the people. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Listen. From a fugitive, you know what that means? There is lifting up. Yes, sir. Amen. Moses was lifted up. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Amen. You know, from being all, you know, persecuted and having to make, you know, the same amount of bricks with less materials. The children of Israel, they went from that. They went from being slaves, having to make the same amount of bricks with less material to hearing the people say, here, take my gold. Yes, sir. Please take it. Take Amen. my silver. Amen. Praise God. And go. Amen. And what? And go. Take it and go. Yes. Here's some more. Here's some more over here I found. Take it and go. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't know about you, but that's lifting. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. We're no more, we're no more slaves. We're no more whipped. We're no more beaten. We're no more mistreated. We are favored. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And the people are begging us to take yes, Amen. their goods and go. Amen. Yes, sir. But the Lord said, I'm going to do one more thing. He said, there's going to be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it 
nor shall there be like it anymore. You know what that was. Yes. He's going to kill the firstborn starting in Pharaoh's house. Yes, sir. And going all the way to the maidservant that's behind the meal, to all the firstborn of the beast. But watch this. But against any, any, any of the children of Israel, that's all of us, shall, shall not a dog move his tongue. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Shall not a dog move his tongue. Amen. That you may know that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Say my case is different. My case is different. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. He turned, watch this. He turned their waters. I'm just trying to emphasize this. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. The land brought forth frogs and abundance in the chambers of their kings. Mm -hmm. yes. there, he spake and there came different kind of flies and lice into their coast. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He spake and the locusts came and the caterpillars and did eat up all the herbs in their land and devoured the fruit of their ground. See, what's happening to them don't necessarily have to happen to you. Yes, yes sir. Praise God. Amen. You understand what amen. I'm saying? Yes, sir. He smote all the firstborn in their land. So, that means no flies, no lice, no hell, no blood. None of this came into Goshen. And the death angel, when he came, he bypassed, what's the better word? Um, you want to hear? Amen. Yes. He passed over. Amen. Yes, sir. Passed over. Listen, y'all. I'm 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 hurting to a close. But listen. Um today when you're out here and you're out here driving and maneuvering, I'm telling you, you must adopt a mentality. Now, you're supposed to drive right as you can, you know, but nobody's perfect. Yes, sir. You're going to make mistakes. But your case is different. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Father. That'll understand Amen. me. Amen. Your, 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 your case is different. And you have to have that mindset in the back of your mind that my case yes, sir. is Praise different. God. Amen. Now, listen to me. Why is it different? That is one of the privileges of being a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is one, one of the privileges of being a son or a daughter of the Most High God. Amen. Hallelujah. Your case is different. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our case is different, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me calm down. Listen, he brought them out with silver and gold. And watch this. There was not one feeble person among their tribes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. So these two things I want you to understand. Prosperity and health are yours. Amen. Praise God. Prosperity and good health are yours. Amen. 
He brought them out with silver and gold, and there was not one. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. There was not one feeble person. You won't be feeble in Jesus' name. Get, and, 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 and this is the last verse I want to read on this. Uh, Egypt was glad when they departed. For the fear of them had fallen upon them. Mm -hmm. Egypt was like, here, go, go, go. Yes, sir. But don't you remember how Pharaoh talked? I, I don't know the Lord. I don't, I don't respect the Lord. I won't let you go. Yes, sir. There is lifting. Yes, now, 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 what do you think about lifting? Lifting comes from above. Yes. So somebody lifts you. If somebody's going to lift you, they have to be higher than you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. This is why... This is why you need God. You need somebody higher than you to lift you. Amen. Praise God. Now, you say, I know people who can lift me up. But can they lift you as high as God can? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Let me move on. Okay. Now, this is a very important point. I, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to close. But our favor is based upon promises. I'm, I'm trying to tell you why you have this favor on your life. Yes. Sir. As you're not, you're not really fully aware of it. Yes. And if you're not fully aware of it, you can't walk in it. Yes. Our favor is based upon, get this, promises made to our predecessors. Yes, now, 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 that's heavy. See, CJ, you might be walking in some favor that was promised to your grandmother yeah. or, or somebody. You See, I know I had a godly grandmother. Mm -hmm. I know I had a godly father. And I know I had a godly Mother, well, they didn't see every promise fulfilled to them in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. yes. There were some promises made, see, yes, sir. that I am the recipient of. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Y'all don't like me. Amen. See, let me read this to you. Uh, now, there was a famine in the land, and Isaac went to King Abimelech. Uh, <clears throat> and the Lord appeared to him. The Lord confronted him, intervened, and said, don't go down to Egypt. I know it's a famine in the land, but don't go down to Egypt. Dwell in this land. Yes, sir. Sojourn in this land. And I will be with you. I will bless you. And I will give you these countries. And I will perform the oath which I, which I swear to Abraham. Amen. Yes, sir. Abraham's dead. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, you got some more coming. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Listen to me, son. There are things that are coming to you. You need to straighten your act up. There's a lot of blessings. That have been sold for you. Amen. You can be the recipient. Amen. Okay, let me try this again. So, he said, "I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a perform the oath, 
which I swear to Abraham. Just because he died doesn't mean I didn't swear. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going to make your seed to multiply. And see, this is not taught in church. No, sir. It's not taught in church. But it's right here clear and plain in the Bible. Yes. Because Abraham obeyed my voice. Not because you obeyed me. But... Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You got something coming. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you got something coming. Okay. Let me let me let me let me just prove it another way. The people asked, and he brought quails and satisfied them with bread from heaven. I'm, I'm closing. He opened the rock and the waters gushed out and ran like a river. Why? Because he remembered his holy promise and Abraham is servant. Amen. Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now this man been dead for hundreds of years. Yes, sir. Amen. I guess you kind of forgot that God keeps his word. Y'all understand me? Yes, sir. Amen. Now, let me make another point. This is a huge point. God is with us wherever we go. I don't care if you go to jail with no money. You've got to have this mentality. God is with me. Amen. Hallelujah. See, you got to walk in the favor of God. Yes, sir. Amen. I say you have to walk in it. Amen. Amen. God. And we walk by. Yes, Hallelujah. I didn't hear nobody. Amen. And we walk by faith. And not by sight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to walk in it. The Bible says, but the Lord was with Joseph. <laughs> Amen. I'm closing. And he showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of his keeper of the prison. Amen. Yes, Amen. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatever they did, he was the doer of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with Joseph, and that was his, which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. No, no, Zeke, you don't understand. It's not that he was so good. Yes, sir. I see that. And what he was doing. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who made it prosper? God, God made it prosper. Now that's that's kind of hard for me to put my head around. But I think that means that some things, I mean, he didn't do so well. God, if God had to make it prosper, yes, sir. what did God have to do? Yes, sir. I see things working out for you, you in I'll Jesus' you. name. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm out of time. Thank you for yours.